Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Today we are in Chula Vista, California, uh, close to San Diego. I always thought it was north, like in San Francisco, but it's like right on the border of Mexico, essentially. Um, so this morning, Caroline is doing triple jump, so it's about 10.30. Um, so she's just about to start warming up. Um, so hopefully it's gonna be a really good day. Um, She's jumping against some really good like 14 meter jumpers so if she can feed off like that energy i am hopefully foreshadowing that she jumps 14 meters hopefully it's a good day the winds are like calm kind of like a cross cross breeze cross kind of going into a headwind so hopefully it doesn't get if it stays like this it's going to be fine but if it gets really windy it will probably be a headwind so hopefully it just stays like this but she's in flight two i think there's 18 people supposed to be competing um so there's two flights which is a little weird because 18 is not like a huge amount it's like on the line of like having to split it up i guess if they want to be efficient to the second flight i guess it's worth it um but yeah she's in the second flight so the first flight starts at 11 and then She'll be right after that, and so yeah. Just wanna take this time, get you guys to like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, um, we put out a lot of good videos, so uh, hit that subscribe button, red little button right down there. Um, and then, yeah, so let's get this video going. I already feel sick. Please don't do that. Hi! We're back at the hotel. Um, I'm really tired. I'm really full and I feel a little bit sick because I've just like had half a pizza. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what's in this cup, but it's definitely not helping the situation. Scissor. <laughs> and uh, about to crush a piece of cheesecake, so got a lot going on right now. It's weird that like last week I was so hyped up about jumping 1368 and today I jumped 1374, windy, and I'm just kind of like, 
I'm a little disappointed. Um, I definitely thought that today was going to be the day. I had a good lead up this week. I had a good warm up. And it just didn't pan out that way. But nevertheless, it's a step in the right direction. And like, obviously, like a few weeks ago, I would have like killed for this result. So I'm just going to be grateful that, you know, it is still like upwards. And I know that like 1370s need to be an average day before 14 meters can be um, a really good day. So yeah, it's progress. That's all I can ask for. I'm healthy. My knee didn't hurt at all today. Um, great facility. It's just windy, but like you can get lucky and like catch a good wind. So I'm looking forward to being back here next week and trying again. Feeling really good about my approach lately. Um, it just feels like really solid. It feels like where I need it to be for me to jump what I want to jump. I was really excited when I opened up with 1350. That jump didn't feel very good. And then the 1374 in round two also didn't feel that great. Unfortunately, between the first three jumps and the last three jumps, we took like a 20 minute break, which there's always a break, but it's never really that long. And it's on me that I let it get to me, but unfortunately it just like, the rhythm that I had found on the runway in the first three jumps, like I just waiting around and stuff, I just felt like I kind of lost that because I didn't feel nearly as good on the runway for those last three jumps. So it's disappointing to start off so strong and kind of just fizzle out, but um, all in all, it was still a good day. It's still good to be consistent in the mid thirteens and I know it's coming. I think like consistency is really important for like building momentum but also just for like <laughs> I'm so tired but yeah I think um consistency is really important you know building momentum and you know if I can be consistent between 1350 and 1370 then for sure on any given day I can jump 14 meters I know I shouldn't be upset, but yeah, I just, I was hoping for a little bit more today, but I still have a couple opportunities under my belt, so I know I will make the most of those. It was a good day. Um, a few weeks ago when things really weren't going well, you know, looking at the start list for this meet, I was like, man, if things don't start getting better, I don't even want to compete at this meet. And that makes me sound like a bit of a, a poor sport or like a poor loser, I guess, but I wasn't going to come here and jump against 14 meter girls if I was struggling to break 13 meters. Like I wasn't going to do that to myself. Um, so to have gone from that and being worried about even making the finals and getting six jumps to, you know, I came third today in a really strong field. Um, that was my first experience in a really competitive field in like a really long time, I guess, since NACAC or I guess Finland in 2019 but I already knew that I wasn't going to jump far at that meet so that doesn't even really count but um so to just get that like competition experience because I haven't had that in a while so I was happy with you know how I performed with that and yeah learning to be a competitor again it was fun it was a good day grateful for the opportunity and just going to tweak a few things in practice this week and hope for an even better weekend next weekend. And yeah. What do you have to say for yourself, sir? Nothing. thought you were going to call me a son of a burr. Anyways, that is all for today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I'm so tired and full. I like can't even think right now. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the enthusiasm. I can't wait till I can get on here and tell y'all that I jumped 14 meters. I'm really looking forward to that day, but today ain't it. <laughs> All right, I have a piece of cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory waiting for me, so I'm gonna go massacre that and go to bed. <laughs> it's 4.30. All right. Bye.